Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're learning Yavamos page 86, which discusses that when it came to the produce that is created through farming, a person doesn't get to keep all that for themselves. Just like taxes, we also have to give a certain amount of our produce to different individuals. We give truma to a Kohen, now, miser, which comes from the Hebrew word eser, represents a tenth of one's produce, is supposed to be given, miser rishon, to the levy. And then there's also, depending on the year of the uh, cycle, whether or not we give miser sheni, which is the next 10%, is not given to anyone, but rather we bring it up to Jerusalem, we eat the fruits there, or on an alternate year, in years three and six, we instead give that 10% to the poor. Now, the Talmud over here tells us that even though originally Meiser Rishon is to be given to the Levi, or according to another opinion, we can also allow a Kohen. However, at a certain point, we stopped giving Meiser Rishon altogether to the Levi, to the Levium. And it was exclusively given only to the Kohanim. And the Talmud here wonders why. Why did we make this change? And on this, as we often find, when a person or a group of people do something incorrect, there is a kanas, there is a penalty. Now, what did the Levium do? So, after the Purim story, during the time of the rebuilding of the second Beit HaMikdash, the second temple, so Ezra ascended from Babylonia, from Bavel, and he went back to Israel. And when he did that, he brought all different types of Jewish people. However, when we find all the people that came up with him, we do not find that the Levium joined him, even though the purpose was to rebuild the Beit HaMikdash. Nonetheless, the Levium chose not to come. And for that reason, we now find that Maisa Rishon, which was originally granted and slated for them, we no longer give this to the Levi, but instead it's given over to the Kohanim. Now it's interesting that Tosfot explains that the truth is there were some Levium that came. But those Levium that came had a physical blemish upon themselves because in the times of Nebuchadnezzar, who was instrumental in destroying the first temple, he wanted these Levium to play musical instruments, and they actually harmed themselves by cutting their thumbs in order for them not to be able to play musical instruments for him. And those individuals actually did come up to the uh, to Israel. However, because of their uh, deformity and because of their blemish, they were not be they were not fit to be able to serve in the in the temple. So therefore, the Levium all the healthy and well able-bodied Levium, they chose not to come. And because of that, there were penal, penal, they had this penalty and they were not able to receive any more Mycerishon.